going up to Camel's Hump and along the ridge there there's a stone nice old stone wall along the ridge there it is up there to the north east started shooting us away so we left. We've been following the pipeline from Morgan to Whaler and to Juna. 118k, 120k from the Morgan along the pipe and we're tracking down this stone wall and there's the remnants of it here next to a, an old school site. There's the pipeline, we just came up the pipeline road and there's stand the pine trees on the, the ridge. And we have a Heisenman. Reminds me of Penrith, Wallachia, hiring bikes and going for a ride for two shillings for the afternoon.
the museum courthouse back up the road, and the Pioneers Garden, and the Freemasons, and bikes everywhere. actual wedding party here but that's one use for a memorial to the first world war soldiers have a little wedding up here all oh, they're, they're into the bottles of beer and, and then uh, maybe it's tomorrow they're doing a they're doing a dry run lovely trees where miss the lovely tree Pass 40 years, 41 years ago, we detoured the Hancock's lookout. Augusta Power Station. Oryx Pass that is down one of those valleys at 7k away. Then some fantastic Salvation Jane on the way up. Absolutely thick around some of the dams. came up here in the combi on our way from Perth to Canberra 68 about this time of day but in uh, July or so Timber, just past Woomera, near Woomera, got some water, and there goes the train to Darwin, loaded up with Woolworths trucks. We're going up now to Glen Dambo, had a coffee here at Spuds. Well, this is the Lake Hart, the Salt Lake, and it's got some water in it somewhere out there. There's been water in a few of the lakes up 
coming up along here, which is very unusual. And there goes the freight train again, we just caught up to it. The engine just went past, but I was just changing position to avoid the, this holding utility and the rubbish bin and everything. Oh, we're at the Gwendambo pub again, and now the grapevines are all green and out. And there's a Jim Carner family day on in town, and the street was buzzing with people calling to Anthony, but they've all, all just gone, so there's plenty of room for us in the caravan park. This is our last fancy accommodation. It's still on. Uh, expecting rain later on, 30 degrees at, somewhere up this way. And we're just entering the Kingunya road across the Nullarbor to Tarkula and the road to Kalgoorlie. So it's all open, as long as it doesn't rain. We've had a few muddy puddles. And there's a warning about remote areas, had adequate fuel, two jacks, shovels, got a shovel, got all that. Drink and drink, we have to keep drinking while we've got some wine. And we'll head off into the into the wild west. Well so far it's a nice graded track. We've done 14k and we're just flying along at 70 to 80, no corrugations. barreling along the road here and a little eagle swooped across in front carrying a, a snake. There he is. And he just dropped to the ground. Just about to do our first trans line crossing and it looks like there's mobile phone coverage all the way to Kalgoorlie. Just came to the railway line. He's saying get off the line. Got a caravan park here somewhere. There's the motel and the Kingunya Hotel. And there's spits of rain back there on the road where the train was. It rained a little bit on the road. There's a road going off down the south east to Lake Garden. We saw a camper trailer going down. There's mountain bike country here. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> he escaped. across the railway again, we're on the north, uh, south side again now, this is Nick's view, Lake, Lake View, there's a sign somewhere back there, Salt Lake back there, this is uh, another one we may not see anymore, the local guy passed us on the way, I just past Ferguson, Ferguson's a little siding, and uh, there's, there's a Next G mobile phone tab.